So, Hawaiian sunsets. Here they are. Same environment affects artists, and uh, I'm greatly affected by my environment. I started coming here way back in the 80s, and when I moved here permanently for the first year, every day I walked down to the beach and I saw every single sunset. I must have seen, I don't know, like uh, it's hundreds, and I, I swear I did see about a dozen green flashes. I know people say that's a myth, but I, I believe I actually saw that. But in my art, uh, here's a book that features a bunch of my art. It's called uh, Surf Graphics. It lists the uh, top 30 outsider artists in the world, which is a European way of uh, talking about lowbrow artists or tiki artists. Uh, I'm in here, and uh, a lot of my stuff features a lot of sunsets, as you can see. And uh, like there's a, this is the, the big boggy sunset that I painted that summer. We had a really a lot of volcanic fog. And here's Tiki Cat with a big sunset. Digga Digga Do, another big sunset. And the Jungle Witch, which is another big sunset. So every year, that first year I moved here, I went down and I saw the sunset. And it just influenced me. I just had to paint the perfect sunset, that transition from day to night. And um, a lot of other things are going on in my life. And it started to become all about transitions. It's like the beach and the sunset. That's a transition from day to light from the land to the sea, and then like even in the jungle witch, it's from like she's a whole thing of transition from a woman to a squid, you know, from the old tiki, which is down here, up into the new tiki, which is a tiki mug. So it's all about the transition of like what Hawaii is in uh, reality into what Hawaii is in perception or the fantasy of Hawaii, which is my art. Because like what I paint is not really Hawaii, what I paint is Hawaiiana and my envision of what is paradise.